Hey there. Hey there. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. We had a good day. You had a good day? It was beautiful here today. So pretty. Sunshiny and good temps. Yep. And not so hot here either. It was like 82 or something. It was so much nicer. So glad. I don't know what it was, but it was it was that breezy, cool with the bright sun. It was just, it was fantastic. Yeah. So we should introduce ourselves first. We always forget. We just start chatting, which is fine. I'm Jana with Pearl Together. Welcome to the channel. This is my co-host, Jill. From she, Illinois. She's from, I always say from Pearl Together and you say from Illinois. Because, <laughs> I mean, I guess Pearl Together is kind of a location since it's the location you find us on the internet. Well, look at all the satellite offices that you have, Jana. Wyoming, Illinois, California. Um, Minnesota, Georgia. Connecticut, all the people I talk to. Yes, it's true. You're international too. I know. Look at all the branches. Yes. I'm everywhere. Yes. Anyway, so, you know, my mom always says, and I always kind of think she's full of it, but she swears. And I always tease her about it. I'm like, nah, you're full of it. I always tease her. I'm not saying anything to you all that I wouldn't say to her. <laughs> she knows it. <laughs> But she always says she can kind of feel a bit of a shift right around October like 10th to or August 10th to 15th, where, you know, you kind of notice that it's getting dark a little bit earlier and it's staying dark a little later and the wind starts blowing a little bit different direction. And at least here it gets a little bit more. We might have a few more thunderstorms. I mean, it's kind of like the fall preview. It's you can't say it's fall yet because mm -hmm. it isn't. We still have a good ways of summer yet to go, but it's kind of a, just an inkling, I guess. It's a whisper. It is. Yeah. And it I'm is. always like, you're full of it. It's still hot. It still feels like summer. She's like, no, you can tell. No, it's a, wh a, whis a whisper of fall. I know. Oh my goodness. I did not tell you this. Um, in the last episode, I was talking about the moles. Oh yeah. The moles. It wasn't a mole. <gasps> Go I know. Groundhog. No. I mean, destroying the yard. So I was in the kitchen one day and I see something like run across <laughs> the back fence. And I'm thinking, that is a very scared cat because its ears were all the way laid back. <laughs> and it was going so fast. Like, I've never seen a cat run like that. And so, and then it, it like, it like, went up against the side of my neighbor's shed and like sat there and I'm like, well, I need to go see what this cat is so upset about. So yes. I opened the door and look, <laughs> not a cat. You're sure? And, uh, You're sure it was a groundhog? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What and it, was it? it? Cat it size. Was. It's cat size. Oh yes. They're not, which is why the holes in my yard are so big and it lives underneath my neighbor's shed. and. <laughs> The other thing that I know it's a groundhog, my neighbor on the other side, about two weeks ago, said, hey, I saw a groundhog running through the backyard the other day. And I thought, oh, wow, that's kind of cool. <laughs> but it's not cool when it lives in the shed next door. And it's tearing up your flower beds and your yard. I and know. Well, it makes me feel a little less crazy. <laughs> I kept thinking this is a huge mole like the That's... piles it was making and the things it was just destroying so there's no less destruction in my yard but at least it's not like rabid moles so did the cat litter have any impact at all I do not know yet I've not been out there recently I just got a new new delivery of fresh cat litter I got a new delivery of I got a fresh delivery of cat litter. Uh, you got a f new delivery of freshly used cat litter. Yes. So I am continuing uh, to apply liberally every three days when I get cat litter. Sorry. Wow. It was a groundhog. I know. That's my big news. Then see if the picture will come through on my phone. Oh, you took a picture of the groundhog? Oh, yeah. Because I had to send it to... Oh, verification. My son who was at college and be like, hey, look. Oh, and actually I sent it to my neighbors because it's my neighbor's shed. And 
Will you would... just send it to me and then I'll insert the picture in the video. Oh my gosh. Okay. So everybody could see my groundhog. Yeah. I want to see will... it. It's funny. The neighbor comes home today. So apparently he's going to help our friend into a live trap and then take him to the farm. Like literally, probably not to a farm, to the woods. To the, uh, away, anyhow. Away from my yard. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Earth shattering in my world is, you know how I, I like feel like I don't finish anything and then you know I have all these whips and then you know you're right you get little things done and then kind of bam 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 you finish several things at once so I can't believe it's happening because it hardly ever happens so I posted on my Instagram I finally finished the July club socks from a girl in her wool better late than never they are awesome I love them so much I love the little stripes on the cuff they're so cute thanks I like to do that I just like like it Well, I started doing it because I wasn't sure if I had enough of the contrasting yarn to do all three heel or, you know, cuff, heel and toe. Yes. Or in my case, that pair was toe up. So, so I was doing it in an effort to add some cool stripes, but also just to conserve the contrasting color. Mm Mm-hmm. It looks good. And I've had enough every time. I like don't need to do it anymore because now I know I'll have enough, but I just like it. I like it too. So. I am about to bind off. That I'm sewing. This is the. Oh my gosh, I love that. I have my little needle stuck right here, so I don't use it, lose it, because I'm going to do the sewn bind off like I show in in my videos. Mm -hmm. But here's the other one. Yay! That purple is so bright and vivid. English teacher socks. Coming at you, Mrs. Hausman. (laughs) The mail soon. Oh, that's just fun. Right. Anyway, so those will be bound off. Yeah. Then I'm casting on. Do we think I'll make it by the end of the month? Because now I'm not knitting DK anymore. I switched. Remember I said I switched my subscription to fingering. So I have this lovely foresty dark green that I'm pairing with with this. You think I could put it in front like it's my first. Oh, look how pretty that is. Yeah. So happy about that. Must knit faster. No pattern. These are going to be cuff down ankle socks for me. Just shorties, fingering weight. Probably do a reinforced fish lips kits. I have partridge reinforcement and banging it out. Hopefully getting done by the 31st. (laughs) I like those. I like that green. Yeah. How are yours coming along? I have knit certain parts of this sock four times. You know, sometimes I, it just happens that way. Sometimes it's annoying. Sometimes it I just... am on sock number one, but I finally made it past, mm-hmm. past the heel. So I'm getting somewhere. You're doing it. I am. Well, the the first one I th- I used, um, I don't think I have the color up here. I do. Sometimes I save the contrasts yeah. and I have like all these, these plans for the little contrast. So instead of that, I thought I was going to do, oh, uh, it's not oatmeal. I always call it oatmeal. Overnight oats. Overnight oats from a girl in her wool. And I was going to do overnight oats for the cuff. Yeah. And heel and toe. And I got the cuff done and the leg done and started on the heel and decided I, oh, that was because I was doing it. I was going to do it for my son and I made a larger size and you were digging it. it. Was, no, it was feeling funky in my hands, not the yarn, but I don't know if it was that many stitches on a nine inch circular. Oh, maybe my, my fingers don't usually feel that way, but it was a lot more stitches than I usually do. So I pulled it off and then decided I was going to do it for my daughter and did the plane and then did the contrast for the heel and then decided I wanted to save the contrast. So I took it all back out again and did this regular. So you know what I did? I must have stopped in the middle of doing my heel flap. Yeah. Um. I did not count 
before I went to pick up everything on the sides. Oh. And I'm picking up and I'm I've got 11. And my pattern, the one I use calls is when I do it for my daughter, I do 12. And when I do me, it's 14. I thought that's 11. I'm like, huh, that's weird. I can fudge. 11 is fine. And then I get to the other side and I hit 11 and I still have like four left. Some, it was hilarious. It was like all oh, wonky. It's wonky. I pick, I must have picked up in the middle of it. and started. Or you didn't slip stitches. You should have slipped. Or yeah i did something so, so i ripped it out so back you go so i will just say that lauren uses a base <laughs> that will hold up to multiple, multiple frogging knits yes rips rips yeah you didn't frog the whole thing but the, you ripped back yeah 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 it's pretty sturdy stuff it really is yeah so that's good so it's good. i have some car knitting time this weekend so i think mm-hmm. i will be able to get them both done still yes yeah. oh you will but you're way ahead of me dk well I'm- yeah i must knit faster and i am behind i will say it's clog vlog episode four clog vlog clog vlog and i'm behind because life happens it absolutely does and i felt like i needed to spend the time finishing the socks for the, my daughter's former english teacher and so i did so i you know i felt like i needed to get those in the mail and and it's okay because it will take me like an hour at the most to knit that other the outer we're doing the outer sole this week and attaching that so We'll put the link to that tutorial video down below in the video description. But it won't take me very long. It's my 35th pair. I think I can bust it out. It's fine. But I'm really not any further than I was last week. I still, every time I see it, I just really like that color. Massive. Huge. I might, uh, you know, I'm thinking like dandelions <laughs> or daisies. Oh, Maybe daisies. Or in the Mario mushroom. I can't decide. I said that to my mom. She's like, the what? <laughs> I showed her a picture of it. And she's like, why? Because <laughs> it's colorful and I like Mario. <laughs> Yoshi would look good on there. What? Yeah. Anyway, we'll see. Yours. You're ahead. You're you're keeping up better. I'm not you keeping know, up with my own knit along. <laughs> the nice part about slippers is they come together so fast i mean but i only have one done so there i mean there's there's mine but you have both yep okay so i prefer to steam them up now and then this one i prefer to attach it before it's seamed up right just because that's the way i learned i think yeah yeah it's fine yeah so so that'll be fun so then after you do all that seam that up following the instructions there we go once i sew it it will not look as wonky right it's supposed to be wonky it'll be fine yeah yeah so then you'll start on number two and bust that right out and then we're gonna belt them and that'll be fun so that will be fun people i have yeah one I have the sole. I have one sole then. To for the, number two. To right. Slipper number two. Yes. So what would be really fun is if people would take a before picture and an after picture and then post it in Ravelry or the Facebook group, you know, like a collage thing before and after so people can see the shrinkage size difference. That's always kind of fun to see that before and after. Yeah. It some is. People have already, some people have already finished and that's great. So, but I like the before and after, like huge and wonky and then perfect for your foot. Yeah. I love when you knit a a large pair. Yeah. I mean, they're so, my, my ginormous guy is 12, 13. So, I mean, yeah, mine too. I make for him are huge. They're so funny. They're almost like the size of my arm. But then when they felt down, whoosh. I know. It's fun. Magic. 
So that'll be fun. I, so people on Instagram put hashtag Pearl together and then hashtag uh, felted clog K A L. And then we'll be able to find them and see them. Yeah. Or post in the Ravel, the Pearl together Ravelry group, and then we'll see them there too. Yeah. Or the Facebook group, wherever you want. That'll be fun. There, I. I'm noticing that people do realize they're addictive because once you start, you don't want to stop. They just, you know, you just keep. Yeah. Because you have all these steps that that are attainable fairly quickly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you noticed right away, my stash. Look at this. I, well, and I kind of freaked out for a little bit. Like, where Where is your yard? Uh, We will have a new background next time. We are moving my office and my daughter's school area we're moving to a better room in the house is the short version so we get this wild hair occasionally we like rearrange things do you ever do that do you ever just like rearrange furniture or swap rooms or sometimes (laughs) but i don't ever like finish so (laughs) i don't finish no, so we'll start it's like this. Front like I have my we... bed here, but my dresser's across the house. <laughs> no, I, so all the furniture makes it back, but the junk does not. Like the <laughs> junk that like really needs to go away never made it back into the room. So now it's just sitting where it was in storage. So not in storage. Yeah, but where it used this, to live. Yeah, this Christmas. <laughs> that was like part of the kids' birthday present was we moved all the stuff out of their room and we painted and put some stuff up on the walls and when everything moved back the stuff that they didn't like or didn't use or was junk kind of stayed back there yeah and it's just taken me a little bit to get it all the way out it is not quite all the way out of the house yet right so So yeah i guess i didn't really have a sense you know how marie kondo says get everything out like get like when you go through your clothing like you take all the stuff out of your closet and put it on your bed so you can really see how much you have this was the point my daughter made to me this afternoon like or no it was this morning because we had to go to town this afternoon it took all morning to like she's like do you have yarn anywhere else and i'm like i don't know she's like do you have any yarn in the drawer we open the drawer yep <laughs> you have any yarn behind that yep uh is this all of it maybe i mean what about tidbits do tidbits count you know like little bitty leftovers you know like she's like all of it oh oh my gosh james oh, that hurt okay is he trying, he's trying to come up um it reminds me of ann frost of ann's yeah. um i thought i knew how podcast yeah yep of what she does in january yes yes he's well getting oh big. okay he doesn't know what to do because oh well his there. little his little oh he's found the needle felted pumpkins that are still here that would be like oh dear oh look at that he's going after him yeah he want yeah he's pur- he's totally purring oh and we're all like super happy oh he ne- there he goes yeah he's purring Anyway, he likes the shelf. He climbs me just to get to the shelf. He likes the shelf. Anyway, so we're trying to Marie Kondo the stash, which doesn't mean I'm getting rid of anything because, okay, that's not true. Some of it is going to donate because, like, I don't really need to keep. There was a time. You know how it is when people find out you're knit, that you knit or that you're passionate about knitting and they mean well, but they're like, here, do you want some yarn? And, like, you know, a church lady will give you a garbage bag full of red heart. And you're like, thanks. I mean, they mean well, and their heart's in the right place. And I, and, but am I really ever going to knit with it? Probably not. So I'm going to pass that along to someone who might. Well, and I think we have different, we go through different knitting seasons in our lives. I have, and I keep thinking of this because I really need to let it go. I have a ton of bulky yarn in my stash. Right. From when I knit hats, bulky I knit hats. a lot of big bulky hats. Right. And I haven't done that for the past few years. And it just a few, three, I mean, and it stares at me. It it's does. just hanging out, you know, and in my case, you know, collecting dust or head, sitting in a box in a corner. And there's no sense in that. So, yep. you know, if I can donate that to like the senior center or 
um, somebody that's going to use it to, you know, teach kids or rugs or I mean, whatever. There's no reason for it to be sitting in my house if someone else can actually use it. Yeah. So there is some of that that's going out the door. But not a lot. I don't have a lot of that left. I've been through this process a couple of times. I really don't have a lot of that left. So what's covering my bed is my stash. <laughs> but it needs to organize because there's, you know, there's fingering that is 100% wool and suitable for fair isle knitting, for example, like, you know, like that you would knit a hat with. Oh, uh, I have several of these that are sitting around See, on my this desk is why we needed a desk tour remember we needed the well, desk tour. i know but now oh the whole desk is gonna go away okay so here's what you need to do unless you decide to edit this part out okay. you need to make like a 15 minute video jana's desk tour and you don't have to show us your desk here's <laughs> what you do you just slowly pick up all of the pieces that are on your desk Show us the project, tell us about it, and then okay. you can we can help you clean that way. <laughs> we, then can it goes from us clean. To <laughs> we can help you clean. Yeah. Okay. We might have Janice desk tour in like yeah, maybe we'll do that. Yeah, we could okay. Maybe I'll try to do that before I actually clean it off and move all these things. Yes, that's what you should yes, that because that's what we want. Okay. All of your satellite offices everywhere. Yeah, including the like all the dumb things like this that live on my desk. You know, Burt's Bees. You got to have Burt's Bees, right? Don't you have uh, like. Up until 10 minutes ago, I had a canning jar full of water and paintbrushes. Right. I mean, you have and things. It, yes. Colored pencils, stickers. Yeah stamps things all the things yeah that's so that everybody has that though all the detritus the office things right that's what it should be called all jana's desk detritus and all the things detritus <laughs> word of the day it's hard it's hard to go through stuff i mean my daughter's like what about this what about this and i'm like stop it <laughs> she is really good at organizing things and i would probably not do it if she wasn't like helping me like you know spurring me on it, is, it can be it can be like overwhelming it's exciting but it's also overwhelming and emotionally Ooh, draining it is exhausting it it's is. exhausting yeah. decision fatigue it's a thing oh it's a total thing yeah it's hard you know what's easy? Attaching your second soul. It's if crazy. you go back to the videos and um, the biggest thing is lining up your second soul to the first. So yeah. when you start and you're really clear about that in your videos, when you line it up to do it this way, mm -hmm. I have done it wrong the other way and <laughs> it's attached like it looked like it had wings i've oh. done the opposite i see what you mean now when you said that i see what you mean about the f wing thing yeah yeah did you mention that last time i did yeah you only have to do it once and then you're a lot more careful <laughs> but. okay so next time we're felting aren't we where's my list that tells me this we are. We have I, felting. We never did. But I guess if I had my second one done, this would be the show where you would see all of this with my ends woven in. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we talk about next time. We'll see how far we get. Okay. Right. Yay. And we'll hear about the groundhog progress. And whether it got laugh trapped and relocated or whether it's still tearing up your neighborhood. I mean, I feel like Puxatani Phil would not approve. He seems like a gentleman. You know, he typically goes back in his burrow and hangs out. Maybe I could dress up in a top hat and try to grab him out of there. This cousin of Phil? Not so well behaved. Probably not.
Okay. Thanks okay. for joining me. Thank you for having me. Okay. We'll see how far I we are and we'll see how far I get on my, so on my socks and we'll see if I make it by the end of the month. Okay. We'll get All right. Take okay. care. See you next Bye. time. Bye. Bye.